Choosing the right title to start with sim racing in 2023 can be difficult. There are loads of good options to choose from and many aspects you should consider. Which is why I created my personal top 5 sim racing games for beginners, so you can focus on what's really important, the driving. Before we start, just a short reminder, this is not a list to rank the best sim racing games ever. This is a list for beginners to find the perfect game to start with. We want good physics, we want good graphics, we want an easy starting point and good online and much more. And that's what we're gonna talk about in just a second. If this list helps you in any way, shape or form, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any of our new uploads and also ring the bell for mobile notifications. Okay, but let's dive in with my number 5 and that's iRacing. iRacing is one of the oldest games in the sim racing scene and enjoys an excellent reputation within the gaming sphere itself. It's renowned for its high level of realism and often praised as the indefinite simulator. And while this is true to some aspect, don't go grabbing iRacing just for that. Coming from outside the sim racing bubble, it can seem that iRacing is the only true racing game that delivers top-notch driving physics, which is nothing but a myth. Can most games in the genre keep up with the white, red and blue giant? But it's on the list for a reason, because it's a phenomenal driving game iRacing trumps with its super diverse roster of cars, featuring realistic GT3, GT4, Le Mans hypercar and formula driving next to many other racing categories like NASCAR nobody else features. Although the graphics might be a bit outdated, car models and track surfaces are super realistic, is everything in the game built from the ground up with real life data. But the biggest plus of the sim is its online racing system full servers, good organization and the infamous I rating and safety rating features that keep you entertained for hours on end. For everybody looking for fair online racing with different car classes, this might be your best choice. Sounds awesome, doesn't it? But why then only P5 and not P1? Yeah, there is a catch iRacing is super expensive. Next to a monthly subscription, cars and tracks have to be bought separately, which easily can get out of hand, since something new costs around 12 bucks. So racing a full season with one car can stretch to a few hundred dollars, which is not always worth it. So choose this one with care and play responsibly. Anyhow, iRacing is available on PC and is catered to people with proper sim racing hardware. On P4 of my list of the top 5 racing games for beginners is my all-time favorite racing game, Assetto Corsa. I have over 1200 playing hours in AC and I'm sure that many more will follow. Just like in iRacing, Assetto Corsa features some of the best driving physics in the scene. Some would say the force feedback effects are a bit basic, I would say they are not as overwhelming as others. The biggest plus of AC is its huge fanbase that keeps the sim from Italian developer Kuno Simulazioni alive, although its successor, Assetto Corsa Competizione, is already on the market. You see, the original Assetto Corsa features modding support, which allows its players to add to the roster of cars and tracks as well as to implement new gameplay features, even the devs couldn't dream of when creating this game. This makes Assetto Corsa in 2023 still one of the most played sims, with stunning graphics, every car and track combination you can imagine and a possibility to even get better with further updates from the community. And it's dirt cheap. If you're looking on the right websites, you can pick up this game with the Ultimate Edition, so with all the DLCs included for under 20 bucks. That's a price no one else can compete with. But also here, there is a catch, or rather two in AC's case. First, Assetto Corsa needs a player to fiddle with mods in order to unleash its full potential. So when installing a new app on your phone already overwhelms you, this might not be the right game for you. And the other one is its online servers. The best racing in AC is to be had in private leagues that oftentimes do not feature any ranking whatsoever. So if online racing is your main priority, AC most likely won't be your best choice. Assetto Corsa is available on PC and on console, but it's not really recommended to play on console as there is no modding support. But still, for me personally, it's the best one on the list. P3 might just be the best sim racing game on PC for players that want the single best offline experience. Automobilista 2. 
this game is made by Brazilian team Ryza that built Automobilista 2 on the foundation of Project Cars 2. And although AMS2 had many hurdles to take thus far, the sim has developed into one of the finest racing games on the market that boats with one of the most detailed physics calculations within the genre. Also Ryzer made sure that next to many well-known cars and tracks from around the world, their Brazilian or rather South American heritage is well represented as well. With many racing series from the continent you can't find anywhere else. And then there's the AI racing, that is the biggest plus with the artificial opponents providing a surprisingly well-balanced challenge. This paired with the addition of Racing Life, a career mode mod for the game, makes for the possibly deepest and best single player experience you can have in sim racing. As you might have guessed, its biggest weak point are again the online lobbies. Are there sadly full of bugs and is there not much to do? But Ryzer already said that they are working on those issues and who knows, maybe that will finally make Amos 2 as popular as it should be in the near future. Automobilista 2 is available on PC and best enjoyed with proper sim racing hardware. On P2, I finally got something for our consoleros. Okay, only for 50% of them, as Gran Turismo 7 is only available on PlayStation. Many would say that the new GT release from 2022 doesn't really count as a fully fledged racing simulator, as it's optimized for a gamepad. But I would say it's the best and easiest starting point for anyone not in possession of a gaming PC and sim racing hardware. You can pick this up on a gamepad and still feel like playing the real deal. That's how good it is. This game can be your gateway into wanting more and rethinking about your platform of choice. Overall, GT7 does a phenomenal job in entertaining players with loads of cars and tracks, a fun single player mode and an online ranking system. And yes, every of those modes has some flaws in itself but they're still entertaining and pretty fun. And for everybody thinking about getting their first ever sim racing wheel for this, do it! Polyphony Digital, the developers behind this legendary franchise, made some great progress in terms of false feedback in the driving physics, pushing ever closer to that barrier of full sim racing control. I for my part can fully recommend GT7 for newcomers on the PlayStation as their first contact with sim racing. And my number one sim racing game to start with is Assetto Corsa Competizione. This game brings everything to the table you need to start with sim racing. First up, it's gorgeous. As one of the most recent titles in the sim racing bubble and running on Unreal Engine 4, ACC looks the part of a modern AAA sim racing game. The handling counts among the cream of the crop and is as close to the real deal as possible are all the tracks laser scanned and all cars built from real life data. Assetto Corsa Competizione is the official game of the GT World Challenge and is also used by the real world drivers to prepare for upcoming races. Comparatively to its predecessor Assetto Corsa, Assetto Corsa Competizione, so ACC, doesn't have mod support, which makes it way easier to pick up and just go and start playing. Online is also a strong suit for the sim, is the online competition system low fuel motorsports equipped with everything that made iRacing so successful just in a new packaging. Servers are full, racing is mostly fair and the built-in ranking system keeps you motivated to keep on grinding. The only downside to ACC is its roster of cars and tracks. This is an official game to a real-world driving series, which is why it only features cars from those series. GT3 Racing stands at the focal point in ACC, with some cup cars and the GT4 roster playing a minor side role. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing, as GT3 cars are quick, offer a huge variety of different manufacturers and are overall pretty easy to drive but hard to master. So in my eyes, the perfect combination to start sim racing with. What do you guys say? Do you agree with my list or do you have completely other games on yours? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you decide on starting with ACC, maybe also check out this video I did where I explained some basic training tips to get started. But that's it from me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time around. Cheers!